So in this video today, I'm just going to do a really quick rundown of all of my YouTube gear for anyone that's interested in knowing what I use to make my videos these days. Um, so if you're curious, just watch and I'm going to put everything in the description below and I'm going to put another like a budget option in the description below. So definitely check that out um, to see what my recommendations are. And in case you haven't noticed, there is something different about me. I decided not to wear my glasses in the video today, um, so let me know what you think. Um, do you like me without glasses? Or if you like the glasses, let me know. Just say in the description with or without glasses, um, and I'll just see um, what the general consensus is. So when I first started making videos, I had an iPhone SE, which is kind of like an iPhone 6 that is the iPhone 5 size. and. That's pretty much what I used to make most of my videos for the first uh, two or three years of my channel. But through those years, I became more and more interested in videography and like improving my videography skills just because I kind of like to be creative. Um, and it's been kind of a hard learning curve, to be honest. It's been like a long process of learning. But um, when I bought my gear, my camera gear, uh, two years ago in February 2019, um, I also bought a course to learn how to use it and that definitely helped out a lot, um, helped me to learn my gear faster. So first things off, my main camera now is the Sony a6400. I researched for almost four years for the best camera to choose and I finally bought this one and after two years of using it I love it um, but I realize now that I could have picked like a bunch of other cameras and been totally satisfied, satisfied as well. So I have the Sony a6400 camera and I have a external lav mic, which is a microphone that clips onto your shirt. Um, it was only $20. It's called Boya Mic. Um, I'll put the link below and it's super affordable and I'm super happy with the quality. I did buy a Rode mic that clips onto the top of the camera, but I have found that the lav mic has a lot better quality. So I recommend the lav mic and it's like 80% cheaper. For the lenses on the camera, I have bought three different lenses. Um, the main lens I'm using right now is the Sigma 30mm 1.4. Um, I just like the range of the 30mm. I also have a 16mm which is a bit wider. Um, however, you have to sit really close to the camera within like two or one or two feet um, to get a really good look, a really good frame. So I prefer to use the 30mm. And another one I have is the 50 millimeter, which is a lot of people talk about it on YouTube as being like the most popular lens. Um, however, you have to put the camera for this type of camera, you have to put the camera about eight to 10 feet away to get this kind of shot um, for the 50 millimeter. So I prefer to use a 30 millimeter instead. I think that 50 millimeter probably works better with Canon cameras. Um, but for the Sony a6400, I think that the range of the 30 millimeter is the best and I like it the most. So you notice that I have like a blue light or a purpley blue light over here. And I kind of have a light on my face here too. Um, I have three LED panel lights um, and I'll link them below. They are kind of expensive, but they're kind of popular lights right now. And I did, I bought them at a recommendation of another YouTuber. I would say I'm pretty happy with them. Um, but I'm going to put an alternative for some dome lights that are probably 60% cheaper. The biggest difference is the size. The LED panels are really small and really good for a small space. Um, and the dome lights and the, it's like a, almost like having like a parachute kind of light. Those are cheaper, but they do take a lot more space. So depending on the size of your space, LED small panels might make more sense versus like a dome light. My um, LED panels are called GVM, a great video maker, and they are available on Amazon. Now, right now I have a tripod. You can't see it, but the tripod is a Kodak tripod. It was about $35 or $38 or maybe $40 uh, on Amazon. It fluctuates a little bit. And uh, this is my second tripod. I have another one in Florida, but this one I love because it's a lot more sturdier and it was actually cheaper. And it also can convert into a monopod if I want to take it out somewhere and I don't want the full tripod, I can just have a quick monopod. I have not used it yet, um, but it's a nice feature to have and I think it's a lot better quality than the other one I used to have. So I definitely recommend this Kodak tripod. 
All right, I think that's it for my gear. If I missed anything, I'll leave it in the description below. So definitely check it out. Um, I have also a list of all my gear on my new website. So you can feel free to browse my new website below. I'll be putting some blogs on there and just, just other information on there as well um, outside of this channel. So check out my website as well. If you have a question about anything, definitely leave a comment below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching this video and definitely please check out some other videos at the end of this one. Thanks so much for watching.